Okay, so close to the description on uh, trigonometric ratios will be a very important idea, which we call the Pythagoras. Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is also narrated on uh, the premise of what a right angle triangle is. It says that if I have the opposite side known as one, well, let me say A, B, and the opposite side is C. Pythagoras said that C squared, that the hypotenuse side of a right angle triangle will be this, the square of it will be equal to squaring the, the other sides and adding them up. So if I square this side, and I square this side, uh, and I add them up, I'm going to get this squared. So what that means invariably from our knowledge of change of subject of formula, it means that C squared, which is A squared plus B squared, would mean that C will be equal to the square root of what? A squared plus what? B squared. We can also make A the subject of the formula and some other things would happen. For instance, from here, I can say that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, meaning that a will be equal to c squared minus b squared, the square root. And by that implication, b will be equal to the square root of what? c squared minus a squared. This idea is very important. It's very, very important. So we've talked about trigonometric ratios. We talked about Pythagoras theorem. Now we're going to take problems and see how these two ideas are connected because it's important to know how these ideas are connected.